Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this absolutely beautiful 1999 National Tropical Model 6373 double slide luxury class A gas motorhome. I'm going to go ahead and show you the inside and then finish the video up by doing a walk around on the outside of the coach. This coach is absolutely 100% excellent condition. Very well maintained. It is a third owner coach. The current owner uh, up here in Scottsburg, Indiana. And uh, the only reason why he's selling this coach is for health reasons. But definitely very, very well maintained. Does have new carpet. Fairly new. It's a couple of years old. Does have the TV upgrades. I'll show you here. Uh, originally the TV was up front and then basically the the owner current owner when he bought it uh, evidently the uh, previous owners did a lot of upgrades on this coach this is a ultra leather power sofa and it is a hide a bed sleeper sofa the little power button is right here all the fabric everything is absolutely excellent condition on the inside of the coach this is a non-smoker Beautiful solid wood maple drawer fronts, cabinet drawer fronts. This is a luxury Class A gas motorhome. Definitely the Tropical by National RV was your higher end Class A gas motorhomes. You do have the, uh, of course, this is a full super slide. It's about, uh, it's probably about 12 to 14 feet long and it's three foot deep. You do have the day night shades all throughout the coach. I did check all the day night shades. They're all in excellent condition. Not stained at all whatsoever. Boot dinette breaks down into a bed, sleeps too comfortably, so you can sleep four easily in the living room area. Again, all your fabrics are 100% excellent condition. Here's a sign that this is a higher end. Uh, Class A gas motorhome, for, definitely for 99 You do have the solid wood uh, edges around the table, the table here. Normally, you would just get a, a Famica uh, top. Upgraded, a few years old. It's about, uh, I think, a 38 to 40 inch Vizio flat screen. All your linoleum throughout the coach is all brand new. Eight cubic foot gas electric refrigerator with ice maker. I do believe that was an option to have the ice maker feature. Nice cold beer. Another sign that this is high end for a Class A gas motorhome in 99. It does have the solid raised wood paneling on the refrigerator. Lots of storage space, lots of counter space. This is Corian, so, Corian style solid surface countertops. Definitely in 99, you would more than likely see a Famica top. And this does have the uh, Corian style stove top cover. It's not just a black uh, metal cover for this. You do not have the oven, but you do have the convection oven. A lot of times you'll get a microwave on a Class A gas motorhome. Another sign that's luxury, high end, and again, no oven, so you have more storage. Mowing faucets with sprayer, water filtration, recliner chair, rocker recliner. I'll show you the cockpit here at the end. Again, all new linoleum. Beautiful mirror work. Nice etched little clock here. That's what National Tropical, their little logo that they use. This is 50 amp service, so you do have dual ACs on this coach, and it is washer and dryer ready. 
which by it's a combo unit that would fit right here. If you wanted to get one, I think they're around 900 bucks, something like that. Lots of cabinet space here. You do have the beautiful one-piece garden shower. Glass enclosure. Looks like etched glass again. You do have seating. This is a one-piece tub shower enclosure. Again, you do have the Corian solid surface style countertops in the bathroom. Uh, normally you would get a Formica top in the bathroom if you did get a Corian style countertop in the kitchen, but uh, this is fully loaded. Private toilet here uh, definitely was upgraded. Originally came with a plastic toilet, but they upgraded for the uh, looks like a toilet riser with a porcelain or china toilet with sprayer. Again, linoleum all throughout the whole coach is is pretty much new. I do check this all coaches and campers for water damage. That's the very first thing I do and I did not find any issues around the slide outs, any dark staining, did not find any issues. Always take my hand and kind of check around the corners here, around the slide outs, look for any warping or any staining or any kind of issues that would uh, be a sign of water damage. Definitely did not find any signs. Um, I do open up the, I did open up the closet, huge closet, by the way. Uh, I did check for water damage in the corners. Sorry, the lighting is poor, but again, I do check all the corners, checking all the cabinets, check for any staining, any wrinkling, normally a sign of water damage. Let me show you here. Queen bed, full walk around queen bed. Of course, the bed slides out. That's your second slide here. Beautiful vanity uh, that I'll show you here. TV would have normally gone there, but they've upgraded again with the flat screens and they've actually uh, bolted it to the cabinet drawer front here. Nice vanity area with seating. Cabinet work on this coach is absolutely gorgeous. Again, etched glass. I did check the roof. The coach is 100%. Is ducted AC all throughout the coach. Ducted heat. Pocket door here. Slides for privacy. And then you do have another pocket door right here. Fantastic vent fan. Oh, one thing I want to show you. This is how meticulous the current owner is with this coach. Uh, he puts these little, I guess they're furniture sliders for moving furniture. He puts it underneath the slide out so it doesn't cause um, any any. I guess dirt or whatever you get from the slide out going in and out from uh, dirtying up the carpet. The coach does have uh, seat covers on the pilot and co-pilot seat only because the original seats have like a, a green color and the owner didn't like that so these are all vinyl seat covers and Actually, I took this off a little bit, but anyway, it straightens up pretty good. And actually, I didn't. I thought they were uh, full vinyl seats or ultra leather, but they, these are covers. But uh, power seats for the pilot seat, and I believe the co-pilot. You do have the backup monitor system on this coach. Sorry for the lighting, folks. Uh, this is on the Ford uh, Triton 
6.8 liter V10 chassis. This is a tag axle coach, which I'll show you on the outside. Upgraded stereo, Sony CD, uh, generator start button right here. You do have uh, just uh, right, just around 667 hours on the generator. Map light. Nice Cobra CV radio. Coach right now, as it sits, has 72,928 miles on it. This coach is equipped with the Banks exhaust system upgrade. Boost up the horsepower. I'll show that to you on the outside of the coach. Go ahead and start this thing up for you. Power mirrors. Power heated mirrors. Do you have fans for the pilot and co-pilot? Do you have the leveling system on this coach full hydraulic level leveling system get your bubble levels there this coach is equipped definitely you won't see this on 99 coaches it does have the sun visor shade option you can push pull this all the way down and it totally blacks out if you have sun hitting you while you're driving here but uh, let me turn this off get that noise uh, you do have this option you just pull them up and down nice screen Sun protection, you do have it on the co pilot too. Beautiful coach on the inside. I will point this out. The owner, when he was using this coach, I believe last year, as he was traveling, uh, it was it was stormy and he he found out what happened. It did leak uh, where the antenna is here. There's a rubber boot up there. And he noticed while he was driving and it was a bad storm it, it was dripping on him and it just stained this uh, it should be able to clean up but it, it, there is no damage this is something that he caught while he was driving and water while he was driving it's it just stained it right here that's all so cosmetic no issues at all uh, he actually had it fixed the next day when he got to I think he was going to Florida but uh, Anyway, he was up front with me about it on the phone before I even came out, and I thought it was a big deal, but when I came and saw the coach, I realized how meticulous the owner is. He definitely loves this coach, but unfortunately with health issues, he's got to sell it. Show you the outside here. It's about 37 feet long. All the decals are in excellent condition. Again, it's on the Triton V10. Uh, Ford chassis does have the Banks exhaust system. Looks like uh, the horsepower has gone up significantly from what it was originally uh, purchased. The awning package on this has full awning package, full slide out awning package, full window awning package, uh, but they are the upgraded acrylic uh, awnings. They're like a cloth, uh, they're not the, the vinyl. Well, I say cheap vinyl, but most of the coaches will have it. But these kind of awnings you'll see on high-end diesel pusher motorhomes. Uh, beautiful awnings. All the awnings are in excellent condition. Show you the decals here on your high-gloss fiberglass finish. Even looks like a gel coat, but they're calling it a high-gloss finish in the brochure. But that looks exactly like a gel coat finish. Something you'd see on a high-end uh, classic. Uh, diesel motor home but the uh, 10 gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater neat feature that I noticed that uh, you do have a, a water uh, option here on the front side of the coach if you want to fill up a dog bowl or something like that or wash your hands uh, you do have this baggage door here is full pass through all the way through that's something you normally wouldn't see on a class A gas motor home all your baggage doors on the Tropical line are all insulated uh, of course, I did talk about the tag axle. On this coach, the tires on the front are brand new. Tires on the, on the rear, they're 07s, but they're not dry rotted at all whatsoever. But if you know anything about tires, uh, you definitely might want to think about investing in some new rear tires. But uh, definitely, this is definitely 
will show you how well the coach is taken care of by looking at 2007 tires and they look brand spanking new. Your awning is the largest one, the largest you can get. It's about a 22 foot awning. There's your window awning package. Nice ladder to get up your roof. In case you want to do some maintenance. Beautiful rear molded fiberglass cap. Receiver on the back is a 5,000 rated at 5,000 pounds. It's your backup camera. You do have a spare tire located in the back door here. I believe the generator is a 55. Uh, 5.5, I think it's a Generac. That's normally what they offered on the Tropic House. Again, your awning package, window awning package. There's your second slide out on the back side. You do have a water bay hookup on the back side here. Uh, because of the generator, I'm not gonna get up to it because it'll be too loud, but your wet bay on this coach is heated and insulated. Basically has a, a, a winter package to it. Most of your Class A's uh, gases won't have uh, a heated water work system area where you hook up. So you can go into colder seasons on this coach. Again, all your baggage doors are all fiberglass and insulated. Let's see if I can show you the high gloss finish on this. Absolutely beautiful coach. Definitely for a 99. 1 through 10, 10 being the best. If the dealer was going to take this in, uh, definitely it would be a 10. Oh, another feature on this coach that Tropical offered on the gas. You have the uh, diesel style, diesel pusher style uh, side mirrors. They're at the top, look like dog's ears hanging down instead of down here at the bottom. So, sorry, forgot to point that out. Beautiful coach. If you want to come and see the coach, it's in Scottsburg, Indiana. Just about 20 minutes uh, north of downtown Louisville, depending on how fast you drive. Uh, just call the number on the ad. If you like this video, just click the like button down below. And uh, if you want to keep up to date on all RVs that we list on HelpSellMyRV.com in Louisville, uh, you can always follow our YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Thank you.